This is slowly and surely becoming a football platform. Just kidding. But look at the range, though. Two football videos in one day. We did Bishop Sycamore, and now we're talking Cam Newton. Uh, I just thought this story was such a big deal that I had to discuss it. And I do believe it could have ramifications over in the NBA season as well. So that's really the main reason why I'm discussing this one. For those who don't know, if you were under a rock yesterday, the biggest story in football from the NFL level uh, was Cam Newton getting released by the New England Patriots. And obviously the reason why it's such a big deal is Cam went from starting in the preseason to off the roster, meaning not only was he not named the starter, which was a competition that we knew was down to, obviously him in the 15th pick in the last year's NFL draft, uh, Mac Jones out of Alabama. But even if you thought Mac was a little better than Cam, like Cam went from not one to two, not from first to third, but first to off the roster. And that's like a wild development. And we know Bill Belichick does what Bill Belichick wants to do, but that is a huge jump. And it's got the sports world talking because there are some big time things at play here. Well, first and foremost, if Mac and Cam were close, you would have thought that the Patriots would have went with, with the veteran to start it out in Cam Newton. And if, if Cam plays poorly, you let Mac come in. Remember, the Patriots had a lot of opt-outs last year due to COVID on their roster. And they got off to a really, you know, you know, Cam got COVID. That hurt him for like a couple games last year. So it was a rocky start. I thought they would give Cam the chance to start this season out. You know, by week four, week five, I believe is when they play Tom Brady. Brady's making his return to New England. You know, he's the Super Bowl champ. I thought by then maybe they let the, the young man, Mac Jones, get a run at it, right? But no. And I've been coming up with ideas in my head, and I'm sure it'll come out later today or tomorrow just exactly what went into the New England Patriots decision to not only name Mac Jones their starter, but to let Cam Newton go off the roster. And, and the honest to God truth, the first thing that comes to mind is COVID. Like, that's probably the biggest deal here. You know, Cam Newton's not vaccinated. It's, 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 it's publicly known that he's not vaccinated. Again, remember, he caught COVID last year. And, you know, I do think for a starting quarterback of a team, especially Cam Newton situation in which he's probably on his dire legs at, with, with, with jobs right now. Like this is a big deal for him to not be vaccinated. You're trying to claim that you want to be the leader of this football team. And if you got guys with compromised immune systems in your locker room on your coaching staffs, how are you a leader if you won't get vaccinated again to each his own? But I think the lesson in this, and, and I don't want to get on a deep dive with, with the vaccination talk, uh, I'll, I'll tell you all this, I'm vaccinated, but for obvious reasons, I'm not going to go deep into, I don't, you know, I'm not going to publicly shame anybody who's not vaccinated or talk about anybody who's vaccinated. Uh, I'm clear as day cognizant that I have a good chunk of my audience that's not vaccinated. Let's call a spade a spade. It's a bad business move to just clown unvaccinated people. I will just say this though. It's your choice to not, to get vaccinated or not get vaccinated. But, Companies also have choices in this one as well. And you can't conspiracy theory me and say, yo, these are this, this, and this is the reason why I'm not getting vaccinated. But then not understand why companies like, yo, okay, you got the right to do you, but since you made that grown man or grown woman decision, I'm going to just not, you know, hire you or not let you be a part of what we got going. There's no conspiracy theory in the company saying, okay, great. You made a decision that we don't agree with. But like we don't have you don't we don't have to now risk our health because you want to make a move or from an NFL standpoint, risk our business with COVID. Because that's what, what it comes down to. The NFL has let it be known. They got new COVID rules all over the place. If you if your team is ineligible to play due to COVID outbreaks in your locker room, you're forfeiting the game, which is gonna cost the owner a lot of money. Only 17 of those bad boys in the NFL guaranteed. And if you miss out on one of those 17, we're not talking about just a few million dollars here. A lot of money is on the line with every NFL game. Hundreds of millions of dollars. So, I mean, that is the gist of it. Like, I'm thinking maybe Cam Newton was told by the Patriots, hey, we need you to be vaccinated as the face of our team. Maybe he said no. Patriots like, okay, you're making our decision a lot easier on who's going to start. It was It's close between you and Mac, 
But Max, the young guy, he's, you know, he's vaccinated. You're not. We might as well roll with the young guy. Or maybe it was like, yo, Cam, we're rolling with Mac Jones uh, as our starter. You, you, you're a guy who we look at either you're going to be a starter or not in the locker room because Cam Newton just doesn't strike me as a backup quarterback in the NFL. And maybe they allowed Cam Newton to just, you know, pack his bags and go elsewhere and find opportunity. But I just think this is such a telling story, right? Like, whatever Cam's personal reasons he's got behind not being vaccinated, again, it's his business. But, man, I, does he understand the ramifications of the decisions that he decided to or obviously decided not to do? If it was a vaccination decision from that Patriots team, because Cam made a vaccination decision, that might be the end of Cam's career. What is he, 32, 33 years of age right now? There were not a lot of suitors for him last offseason. The Patriots just last minute said, hey, we want to bring you in. We don't like what we got here. Jarrett Stidham doesn't seem to be the guy. Where's Cam going to go? Are the Texans going to make a run at, them, at, at Cam? We're hearing Deshaun Watson is not going to play this year for them at all. Could, could you see them making a run at, 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 at Cam? I don't know. But if not them, probably he, he probably doesn't get a job this year. I'm not saying he might not ever get a job, but it's very well possible when you put in the factor that Cam Newton doesn't seem to want to be anybody's backup. There are only 32 of those starting jobs in that sport, right? Like this could very well be the end of Cam Newton's career. And I'm just wondering, like, if how set are you in your ways to not get vaccination? What do you know behind the scenes? What doctors have informed you information about vaccinations? Like, what, what? how set are you in not being vaccinated to the point where you are willing to risk, risk an opportunity at something you love, something that you've done your whole life, not doing it anymore, for a team that believed in you, gave you a new contract, and, and probably was willing to make you their starting quarterback at least for the beginning of the season. Like you gotta, I hope you got the right information about not being vaccinated. You got to believe Cam genuinely believes there's some risk in getting a vaccination that he doesn't want to take for him to not get it with his career likely on the line. I think there's a really big story in this video that's going to be a reality in our country and in the world for quite some time, but especially our country because vaccinations are accessible. You got rights. But also companies got rights. And if you want to say, hey, I don't trust government. I don't trust the CDC. I get it. I get it. But I also want y'all to get it too or anybody out there that's not vaccinated. You got to get it too. These companies are, they, 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 they run like clockwork with or without you. More, most of these companies. They're going to make decisions. You're going to see this everywhere. A lot of these companies are going to say, you can't walk in the door without a vaccination card, a valid one at that. I, I just, I, you, like, there's a, there's a big lesson in this. Like, you, to see somebody of that talent, of that athletic stature, that looking like he's in great physical health, say no to a vaccine, and his career likely held in the, held in the balance of that, he's going to go from a starting quarterback to unemployed. And maybe there was a good chance vaccinated or, you know, being vaccinated was a part of it. That is something that, and by the way, Cam Newton's rich. He's a millionaire. A lot of people throughout this country are going to be making decisions on will they get vaccinated or not. And there could be big ramifications with your employer, depending on the decision you make.